Greetings everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Vector Man 2. We are in scene 6, Magma P.I. Oh god, the puns just keep on coming, don't they? Alright, we are still in the lava area. This one looks a little bit better than the previous level. It's still kind of ugly though. The fire levels in general are kind of ugly. What can I say though? It does have a pretty rocket tune. I killed that shield bug. Alright, so the shield bugs make a return in this level as well, and it's kind of useful for avoiding lava, and a lot of the enemies in this level are kind of blind jumps into them, so... It's good to have the shield bug for as much as you can get. Oh, and look, we're getting our color changed here. Not really much of a nuisance. This game seems to be a little bit more generous with the adding time to the clock bonuses. I don't remember collecting this many in Vector Man 1. But oh well. This level is another level that has um, a max power up that gives you an extra hit point. It also has a five times multiplier and an extra life. So if we can make our way to the extra life in time, which is right there, we get five lives. So here we go. I'm already stacking lives again. Old habits die hard, I guess. What can I say? I'm really kind of driven to do it in a game such as this. And when the opportunity presents itself, what are you going to do? And we could have ended the level pretty quickly, but uh, I'm going for that max power-up, which is over here on the other side of this volcano. You have to climb all the way to the top and get this power sack right here to the right. Oh yeah, we've made it to our second level of hit points. And that's actually the end of this very short lava level. So I'm going to attack on the next scene as well, which is actually the boss of this zone. This, is, The boss is actually as far as I ever got playing this game as a kid because I actually didn't own Vector Man 2. I rented it. Probably a shame. But um, recently, though, I have gotten farther than the lava boss. I have beaten it, but that remains to be seen whether I can do it in wicked difficulty or not. Anyway, this lava boss is actually pretty tough for a second boss. Um, he has this uh, this nasty tendency of aiming exactly where you are going to be. He leads the target when he's throwing these lava balls at you, which uh, can be pretty hard to deal with. So what he does is he jumps, he comes out of the lava at one of the two two holes here, and then he just starts coming in your direction. And there isn't really much room for you to go. You can't touch the lava, you'll get hurt as well. So the fight is really simple, but it's also pretty difficult. Wow, and I almost am going to die a second time. How exciting. Jeez. Your best bet is to, to um, wait till he pops up and then go to the opposite edge of the screen and then just kind of shoot him, jumping to avoid his lava balls. Yeah, I just said lava balls, whatever. Deal with it. You avoid those, shoot him until he's dead, and you've got him handled. There we go. Alright, so that's going to be it for the lava zone. I'll see you guys next time for some more Vector Man 2 later.